My name's Colin Baxter, I'm the landlord of the Cricketers of Redbourne. We've been here now for 12 and a half years. Previous to here, we used to run a sports club. Um, there used to be hundreds of people arriving there, majority fast food. We're very passionate about food and drink, um, but the club we were working at then didn't allow us to, 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 be, to, to sort of do the food we wanted to. So we went out looking for pubs, areas. We looked at about 100 different pubs in different areas and then we stumbled across this one. This was um, originally very much on its knees, wasn't doing the, the level of food at all. Um, this, it, this particular room that's now a lounge bar was um, used once a month for a, for a particular group that used to come up here. It was, so we, 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 we ploughed a lot of money into the pub um, and just thought this is the perfect location. I mean, there's around six and a half uh, thousand residents in Redbourne alone. And, and we just thought, well, if we can't do something with this, then we can't do anything. So it, it, was, it just seemed to us the perfect venue to do what we wanted to do. We um, put a brand new catering kitchen in there. We employed top end chefs that, that come from London and some fantastic hotels. So we're pretty serious about what we do. And thankfully the awards will keep coming in. Obviously with the government regulations, um, with social distancing within the pub, um, we're about half of our occupancy with seating for dining. Um, we've noticed a difference in income, obviously, because of the, uh, the lack of people we're allowed to have inside. Um, to overcome this, um, we've put um, some dining pods in the in the in the garden, in the pub garden. Um, there are two in there at the moment. There's a third one to come, um, which obviously acts as an extension to, to the to the dining um, for the customers. Benefits of the dining pods, given the, the fact the, uh, the stipulation for the government is, is a maximum of six people, the dining pods do house exactly six people. Uh, they're fully heated. Um, the beauty of it is um, there is a Bluetooth speaker in there, so you can play your own music. So you are, you know, a party with it within the pod itself. So you are completely isolated from. We do have a lot of people still, even though um, we are socially distanced. People still don't still feel uncomfortable coming into the pub because obviously there are other people in there. So with the dining pods, you are completely, you know, within your own party. And plus, we, you know, we've had pregnant women that don't want to come into the pub as well. So we have, we did actually have a pregnant woman in here yesterday who booked two of the dining pods for Christmas Day. We, we've, we have actually bought this at top of the range dining pods though. So we, we have seen others, but they, they don't breathe. So they're, they're full of condensation on the inside, but these completely breathe. So these and, are quite, sorry, sorry. So no, these so quite, carry on, sorry, yeah. These are quite nice places to be as well. Then, for a, nice absolutely, season. yeah, absolutely. And because they breathe, so the air's regenerating all the time. You're not sat, you know, within the still air all the time. So yeah, and they're fully heated. So they're perfect. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we completely, we, we, done our risk assessment, um, we're completely uh, up to speed with, uh, with everything that it should be. We did in fact have a, an inspection last Saturday by the police and the district council. They came along, checked everything that we were doing, they were perfectly happy with the way. We have obviously a one-way system so people aren't crossing, every table is socially distanced, people have to wear masks before they're seated and obviously as soon as they get up from their seat. Um, hand sanitizers there, we've got the QR codes, we have our own personal QR code for track and trace along with the National Health one and of course if nobody has their smartphones then we've got the, uh, the hard copy that they can write as well. So I think, well I don't think, I know we are definitely up to speed with everything to keep people as safe as, as is humanly possible. We have our own website, um, uh, just Google the, the Cricketers of Redbourne or we're on Facebook, we, we do postings on Facebook. Um, obviously with the new dining pods there, uh, you can book them uh, going online through our website, our menus are online and also if people are sat at um, tables we have QR codes so you can bring the menus up on your phone, you don't have to, not that we would share a menu, as soon as the menus have been used they get destroyed anyway, so, so yeah. Given the fact that we are being forced to stay in our homes as much as possible I, and there's a lot of mental health issues going on, I think it's it's very healthy for people to make the effort to come out of the house to let themselves release a little bit without being, you know, sort of cooked in their four walls. So, I mean, we've done everything that, that is possible to make it safe for people to come out. And I'd love to reiterate that we really are a safe place to come to and spoil yourselves. Come out and, and enjoy some fantastic food and drink in, in a safe environment.